Hi everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Today I thought it would be really fun to rank all of Laura Jean's outfits from To All the Boys I Loved Before, the trilogy. I'm doing all of the movies in this. The third one just came out on Valentine's Day and I honestly really love these movies. They're so fun. The characters are amazing. Laura Jean is my favorite character pretty much any movie. Definitely top 10 like movie characters. I think she's just absolutely amazing and I love everything that she stands for and that she makes decisions based on her love but also for herself and she stays true to herself and I love that about her and her fashion is iconic let's be honest the wardrobe designers for the show are immaculate so for the rankings the first one the top tier is absolutely iconic this is an outfit that I see and I think this is a Laura Jean outfit this is incredible the next one is just things that I adore I think anybody could pull off but they're not iconic next is cute but not special it's just like kind of an average outfit. The next one is only Laura could pull it off. It's just things that wouldn't look good on everybody, but they look good on her. Next is kind of disappointing. It's just like a kind of lame outfit. The last one is whose idea was that? They're not the best outfits. They're kind of awful. <laughs> All right, let's get right on into the ranking. Okay, this first outfit is from the first movie and she's wearing like a pink little bomber jacket and then she has a cute little floral dress on underneath. I think this is a very cute outfit. I'm gonna put it under a door. Okay, this next one I'm pretty sure is from the movie poster for the first movie and it's her little plaid skirt. I think she might have a button down underneath and she has some little yellow tights on and she looks really cute and then this outfit Outfit, since it is the movie poster and when I see this outfit I definitely would think Laura Jean. I'm gonna put it under iconic. All right, this next one is from the first movie as well. It's when Jen is making fun of her boots. It is a cute outfit. I do really like it. I love the vintage boots, but I kind of think maybe she's the only one that could pull it off. It doesn't look like a very wearable outfit. I'm gonna put it under only Laura could pull it off because I think it's super cute. But once again, I think it really only looks good on her. I feel like if I wore that, it would just, I don't know, the flannel tied up. I don't know if it'd look good. <laughs> okay, this next one is from a party they went to in the first movie. She has a little navy blue dress on and then she has a little light blue bomber jacket with floral print on it. I think it's really cute. I'm gonna put it under cute but not special just because it's exactly that. Okay, this next one, it looks like she has a little bit of a turtleneck on. I think her skirt is some kind of velvet or corduroy. It's pretty Pretty cute but I don't think it's special so I'm gonna put it under cute but not special I would wear it I wear stuff like that all the time but I think she has better outfits this next one is from when they took her sister to the airport I think this looks amazing on her but once again I'm gonna put it on the cute but not special because I think it's exactly that all right this next one is a very Laura Jean outfit she has on a button up underneath a flannel and a skirt and some tights on and she has almost looks like shoelaces tied in a little bow I think if I saw this outfit, I would immediately think Laura Jean. So for that reason, it's going under absolutely iconic. This next outfit is from when her and her sister were celebrating Korean New Year, I believe. And I think it's amazing. The colors, they still used like the color palette that they use for all of her outfits. And I think that's amazing. I actually read an article all about this outfit and it was really cool. A lot of like work and time went into creating this outfit. And so for that reason, I'm gonna put it under iconic. Okay, this next one, she has a very monotone outfit on. It is pretty much all different shades of like beige and she has a little headband on and that's one of the things that I think she definitely pulls off is a headband. Um, I think this outfit is really cute, but I think possibly she could only pull it off. The skirt is really fun, but I'm gonna put it under only Laura could pull it off. Okay, this next outfit is from the second movie. It is from the ball that they had at the old folks home where she was volunteering and I am absolutely obsessed with this dress. I remember seeing it when I watched it for the first time and I thought it was so beautiful and it looks amazing on her. And I also know that this outfit took a lot of planning for them when they were creating the movie. So for that reason, absolutely iconic for sure. This next one is her Valentine's Day outfit from the second movie. I think it is so cute. It has little hearts on it. I think if I saw it on someone else, it would give me kind of 
of preschool teacher vibes. <laughs> so I don't know how wearable it is. So for that reason, I'm gonna put it on only Laura could pull this off. All right, this next one was from her first date, I believe in the second movie. And I think it's really cute. She just looks amazing in all of these outfits. I don't know why I did it to your list. Um, I'm gonna put it under a door because I think she looks beautiful in it. All right, this next one is when she dressed up for the lacrosse game. I'm pretty sure that Peter was playing in. Um, I think it's really cute. It's definitely not like wearable for anybody else who's not going to a lacrosse game, but it is kind of iconic. I'm gonna put it under only Laura could pull this off because I truly think that. <laughs> okay, this next one, she's wearing overalls. I think they're black overalls and then she has a striped t-shirt on underneath. I think this is a fun outfit, but it's not her best for sure. So I'm gonna do cute, but not special. Okay, this next outfit was also at the old folks home that she's working at. It looks like a button down short sleeve white shirt. And then she has the collar coming out of the top and she has a yellow sweater vest. And then it looks like mom jeans. I think this is beautiful. I don't know if it was just because she was surrounded by all the plants in the nursing home, but the vibes in this scene were so good and I think the outfit has a lot to do with that. So we're going absolutely iconic for this one. Okay, this next one, she's wearing a floral bomber jacket with just a plain blue shirt underneath and then I think she's wearing just light wash skinny jeans. I don't really like this one that much. Um, I think she had a lot of better outfits, so we're going with kind of disappointing. Okay, this next one, she was going through a tough time. I don't want to give anything away. No spoilers. It's just like an athleisure outfit. I love that they also put her in athleisure. Like she's not all dressed up all the time. So I'm going to do only Laura could pull this off for this one as well. Okay, this next one is the nightgown from the first movie. It's an iconic scene. Um, I think the nightgown was kind of lame. I think they could have had a better one, but it also was a nightgown, so I have to remember that when making this decision. I'm gonna do only Laura could pull this off for this one because I think she looked really good in it and she had her hair up and she had a necklace on still and I think it looks really cute. Okay, this next one, she has a pink little trench coat on and a skirt. I think it's a plaid skirt and then she has her little kind of see-through tights on. This one I think is pretty cute, but it's not special, so that's where we're putting it. All right, lastly, I have her prom dress from the third movie. I don't think she could have looked better in a prom dress. This is the most beautiful prom dress I've ever seen. It also looks a lot like the one that I wore to prom, so for that reason... <laughs> We're going with absolutely iconic. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was kind of fun. But overall, if you haven't seen these movies, absolutely watch them. I love them and I'm so sad that the series is over, that it's only a trilogy, so there's only three of them. But I can just rewatch them. I've already watched the first one probably six different times, the second one at least three. Also, I love the character of Laura Jean. I want to aspire to be her. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos and let me know if you like this one. All right, guys, that's it. See you next week. Bye!